what people need to do to get onto Vivitrol is they need to have some period of um, opioid free days. You know, they, they need to not be using opioids, opioids at all for several days. And the, the longer they're able to go, uh, the less likely when they get the Vivitrol they are to get sick, to have withdrawal symptoms. So if someone comes in like yourself who's actively using, what the way we would do it is one, you can go to an inpatient facility. So you could go say to a, um, to a 30 day program and you would spend the first few days being detoxed with methadone or buprenorphine and then that would go down to nothing and then there would be a period of a couple of weeks of not being on any opioid and uh, then before you would leave the residential program, you would get the injection. And the chances of having any precipitated withdrawal from the injection would be very low if you've been off opioids completely. For people who either can't or can't afford or don't have the time or don't want to go to a residential program, it is possible to get people as an outpatient from actively using opioids. Um, and, and I've had people switch from buprenorphine to, to Vivitrol also. For, so to, to transition from uh, having an opioid agonist to being on the blocker, you, you can do it as an outpatient. It's just harder because you have to kind of taper off the opioids, you know, be detoxed effectively, and then go s at least a few days of, of not using any. And, and there's different techniques. I mean, we can give like little bits of the oral medicine before giving the shot to just kind of get your system used to um, the, the naltrexone. Um, I, you know, I've done it different ways with different people. Some people just, they're not really doing that well and we just kind of go to the shot sooner. That's a little bit more drastic and it, the, the, there's a likelihood that the person's gonna be sick for a couple of days. Um, so I think that it, the, the outpatient um, induction onto Vivitrol is, um, more challenging because there's more discomfort, and it you know, it, it certainly can be done. I've done it with lots of people, but it you have to be very motivated. There's medicines to give to help alleviate um, uh, the, you know, the the trouble sleeping and the anxiety. You know, the all the. So I wouldn't be going cold turkey, would I? You wouldn't be going cold turkey, but it would be if if you said if you said the thing that I'm most afraid of is feeling sick. This probably isn't going to be the option you choose because. Um, going on to buprenorphine or methadone, you feel better pretty quickly. You know, you, you have like a little discomfort, but it, it go, you feel better pretty quickly. If you're in a residential program and going on to Vivitrol, again, there's a lot of time and you can kind of uh, be gradually tapered off of opioids and wait a while till you get the injection and, and, and that's pretty comfortable. The outpatient Vivitrol induction, the, the detox is an outpatient because you can't really use opioids because it'll just make it harder to get the shot. The detox is a little, a, a little harder. Um, and those, getting those, that time without using and then getting the, when we give either a little bit of oral naltrexone and build up to the shot or just give the shot, those you know, those different steps all have some discomfort associated with it. So I don't want to, I don't want to say that it's like easy. It, 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 you have to want to really do that and, and it can be done. I've done it with lots of people. Um, and, and, and for some people it's not that bad. Like I don't, I don't, you know, it, it's hard to know sometimes what it's going to be like until we actually do it. Um, but that, that I don't, I don't, I, I, I want to be clear that the outpatient Vivitrol in, in, induction is probably, um, going to be the least comfortable. But if, if that's the option that you want, it's definitely doable.